Hello friends, my name is Srinivas and I welcome you to my channel Coding Skills. As part of this video, we will learn how to find first non-repeating character with any given string. Basically, this program was requested by one of my subscribers. Based on his request, I tried to prepare this program. Let me show you the comment for your reference, which was on some other video. This was a comment I was referring to in the, on the other video. So if the input is this particular string and the output should be y, because y is a non-repeating character within a given string. So it prints the first non-repeating character in a given string. So let's see how we can implement the same using a simple Java program. So switching back to Eclipse editor. For this program, we only need a scanner. So we have imported from the util package. Within a main method, instantiated scanner and mapped it to input stream. Printed a message on the console. Please enter a string. String str equal to sc dot next line. This is going to read some input string from the keyboard. Here we are checking a basic check. If str dot length equal to zero, that means if the user has not entered anything, so there is no point of continuing with the remaining logic execution, right? We are simply printing a message, please enter a valid string. Suppose if this condition fails, that means user entered a valid string, then we need to perform the actual logic, right? That's where the else block comes into picture. With an else, we are calling a separate method, find unique care by passing the input string. So this is a static method, which is coded in the bottom. Public static void find unique care, which is taking an input string. There are a couple of variables which are required for this program. The first one is boolean unique care found equal to false by default initializing initializing with a false value and we are also calculating the length and storing in a variable int length equal to str dot length and there is one more care variable is requ required care ch equal to and we are initializing with a space character there is a for loop here for int i equal to zero i less than length and i plus plus so until we reach length of the string, this loop is going to repeat. Within the for loop, we are getting the character by character. Say it's equal to str dot caret of i. This is going to read the character by character. For the first iteration, it is going to read the character which is available based on the index of the i value. If str dot index of ch comma i plus one less than zero, so this is the, the primary condition. So what exactly this condition does is, it is going to check for the, the retrieved character within a given string, but excluding the current portion. Let's say your, your iteration is repeating at the zeroth location. So if excluding the zeroth location, it is going to search for the rest of the string to check whether the given character is available or not. Here the condition is less than zero. So usually if the character, if the index of is able to identify the character is going to give us a positive value. That means it is going to give a greater than zero value. So which is the actual location of that particular character. But in our case, less than zero is the condition. That means if it was not able to identify, then it is going to give us a negative value. That's when our logic comes into picture. If it was not able to come identify the given character within the rest of the string. So it enters inside a if block and we are checking one more condition if i equal to zero. So that means i equal to zero means this is the first iteration, right? If it was not able to identify the can within a rest of the string and if, if it was the first iteration, then it's simply understandable that that it the first, first character itself is a non-repeating character, right? We are marking the flag. Unique care found equal to true and we are breaking so that means there is no point of containing the remaining iteration. The reason is the purpose of this program is to find first non-repeating character, right? So as in when we identify the first character, we are breaking the for loop. Suppose if this condition fails, that means if the first character is a repeatable character, then loop should continue for the remaining iterations, right? That's where the else if comes into picture. Else if i greater than zero and str dot substring zero comma i dot index of ch less than zero. So what exactly this condition performs is 
it is going to get all the characters starting from zeroth location until the current character and it tries to find within that character string if it was not able to identify that's when it will mark this flag as true unique care found equal to true suppose if it was able to identify that this will not enter the cells block at all so until we complete this for loop all the characters are going to be iterated and it checks for either of these conditions after completing the for loop if in care found so this because this is a boolean variable right so if unique care found equal to true then we are printing a generic message first non repeating care is we are printing the care variable that was declared at the top because it has the the last value which is as part of the for loop execution else we are simply printing message that non repeating character does not exist let's see how we can export this program for multiple iterations i'm checking a basic failure check i have not entered anything so we should see the message as expected please enter a valid string let's run for the valid iterations the first non repeating character is d let's run this program let's copy the input string from here First non repeating characters y. So here, though m you see, but th these are different cases, right? That's when the starting character itself is a non repeating character. Let's write for different directions. So h is a non repeating character, right? So out of this thing, the O is a non-repeating character because all rest of them are repeating characters. Let's run for one more iteration. Non-repeating character does not exist because all these characters, whatever you are saying here, are, are repeating. So hence we could see this non-repeating character does not exist. But this is a this particular else block. So this is how we can use a simple basic string operations to identify the non repeating character please like the video and share it with your friends in case if you are visiting my channel for the first time please subscribe thank you very much bye